here I would like to say something which I have been keeping a secret for my whole life. One beautiful morning, Gautam Buddha had gone for a walk with his caretaker, disciple Ananda. It was fall time. Trees were almost getting naked and all the leaves were on the path and the wind fluttering the trees and the leaves were making beautiful sounds. Walking on those leaves, Buddha was immensely happy. The music of the dry leaves He took few leaves in his hand Ananda asked him I have been always thinking to ask one thing but privacy is so difficult you are always surrounded by people. Today you are alone in this forest. I cannot resist the temptation. I want to ask you, have you said everything to us or have you kept some secrets? Buddha said, do you see the leaves in my hand? And do you see the leaves all over the forest? Ananda said, yes, I do see. But I don't understand that that is the answer. Buddha said, you will understand. I have said only this much and I have kept secret all these leaves that are in the whole forest. My situation is just different. I have said the whole forest. Only one thing I have kept secret. Just one leaf. Buddha had declared before his death that he will be coming after twenty-five centuries. And his name will be Maitreya. The Maitreya means the friend. Buddhas don't come back. 
no enlightened person ever comes back. So it is just a way of saying. What he is saying is of tremendous importance. It has nothing to do with his coming back. He cannot come back. What he means is that the ancient relationship between the master and the disciple will become irrelevant in 25 centuries. It is his clarity of perception. He is not predicting anything. Just his clarity to see that as things are changing, as they have changed in the past, and as they go on changing, it will take at least 25 centuries that the master and disciple relationship will become out of date. Then the enlightened master will be only the friend. I had always wanted not to be a master to anybody. But people want a master. They want to be disciples. Hence, I played the role. It is time that I should say to you that now many of you are ready to accept me as the friend So those who are in tune with me continuously without any breath they are the only real friends. There are people who are sometimes in tune with me. and sometimes not in tune with me. You are asking why it happens. The reason is you may be perhaps surprised to know Sometimes they are in tune with me because I am in tune with them. Whatever I am saying is according to them. They feel this is perfectly right. They are not in tune with me on the contrary, because I am fulfilling some of their idea, some of their expectation, they feel they are in tune with me. That is illusion. Because once you are really in tune with me, you cannot fall out of it.
But if somebody falls out of it, that simply means I have said something, I have done something which is not in accordance with you. You remain the judge. You have not dropped the judgment. Your ego is still there. 